Hello and welcome to another system programming video lecture series and we are covering shell commands in Linux and today's command is cd command that is being used to change the directory from current location to another location. In this session we are going to cover 12 most useful and advanced examples of using cd command with some variations by adding some parameters as well as by adding uh, different ways of uh, paths to change the location or directory. So let's start with the, with the commands. I will discuss the details of these 12 commands along with the experiment or exercises by using the Linux server. So let's start the Linux server first. I will use my Linux uh, Amazon cloud server to test these commands. Okay, I will clear the screen. So the first command is that if you want to go inside a directory from your current location, uh, then you have to simply use cd space, the folder name or directory name, then, and you will be able to go inside that directory. So let's see what folders or directories I have right now at my current location. You can use simply ls command to list out the directories and files at your current location. And you can see I have folders named uh, F10, F11, F12, F4, 5, 6. These are the directories I have. So let's say I want to go inside F4. So simply it will be CD space F4 and you will be able to go inside the F4. But if I want to see my current path where I am right now, you can use the PWD command. And right now I am at home slash EC2 user. Now let's try to go inside F4. You will use simply CD space F4 and you, you are inside F4. And if you want to cross check that you really went inside F4, you can simply use again PWD. And if you compare right now, uh, your path is home slash EC2 slash F4. Previously it was simply home slash EC2 dash user. So this is the way how you can go inside a directory from the current location. Now the other method is you use a, an absolute path. In the previous example, you use the relative path based on your current location. But if you want to go anywhere else or uh, even in, inside a uh, location at the current directory, you can use the absolute path also by adding the full path along with the folder or directory name where you want to go inside. Let's suppose I want to go inside F5. So I will use uh, my full path, absolute path, so it will be cd space slash home slash ec2 dash user slash the folder name. I will not add slash f4 because I want to go f5 that is outside the f4 that is inside ec2 dash user folder or directory. So I will write down f5 and enter and now if you will check pwd you can see your current path will become slash home slash ec2 user slash f5 so by this way you can use absolute path to go from one directory to another directory or if you are relevant or uh, you, are, you want to go uh, to a directory that is relevant to your current location then you can use uh, uh, relative path also so the third example is now i am already in f5 and i want to go back to the parent directory so for this one you have to use cd space dot dot make sure you will not write down cd dot dot it is cd space dot dot so cd space dot dot enter and now if you will see pwd the outcome is home slash ec2 user now you are back to the home directory so by this way you can go to your parent directory next is if you want to go two directories back not only parent directory you want to go a inside great parent directory okay so for that purpose you have to use cd space dot dot slash dot dot slash by this way you will be able to move two directories up so let's go inside first uh, directory f5 again cd f5 and now from here i will try to go two directories back cd space dot dot slash dot dot slash enter and if you now do pwd you can see now you are in home home location okay so you moved actually two directories back next is you are anywhere in the system and you want to go back to your home directory 
there are three different ways to reach to home directory simple write down cd without anything you will be able to reach to the home currently logged in home directory if you will do pwd no you can see right now you are at the place where you were when you logged into the terminal you can have another command also by using cd space dollar sign home by this way you will also be able to reach to the home directory so let's use cd space home and and if you will do pwd you are at the same location even if you will be in a different location you will be able to reach to the ec2 dash user or whatever your currently logged in user is at your system in the same way you can use cd okay. and you will you will be able to go to the home slash ec2 user or your current home directory so that that were uh, like six initial commands now we have another six examples uh, again to uh, to go inside the specific directories so first one uh, number seven example is uh, that if you want to go to a directory but uh, you don't remember the full name of the directory or that directory name is so big that you just want to write down the short name then you can partially write down the name of the uh, the directory and then you can use the star by this way whatever the first occurrence of the directory with that particular initial words or letters will be you will be able to go inside that folder so let's try this command also before going to that let's see what folders i have and let's try to go inside glatif directory okay so instead of writing down the full glatif i will write down gl star and by this way i will be able because i don't have any other directory with name glatif so immediately i will be able to go inside glatif so let's see cd space i will write down uh, over there in the example it is uh, based on the uh, based on the full path or absolute path but over here i can use the relative path also i will write down gl star and if i will enter you can see pwd now you can see my current path is slash home slash ec2 user slash glatif so by using cd space gl star i am able to go inside the glatif directory so star is the wild card that is being used to ignore as many number of letters or words as possible and only the initial words or letters will be considered and the rest will be ignored the, there is another wild card also that is question mark based and question mark based wildcard is used to ignore only one letter so i have right now several uh, directories and let's try to run the same example but this time i will run the uh, the same command uh, cd space gl uh, star, instead of star i will use question mark this command will not work because by using question mark you can ignore only one letter but if you see the name of the directory glatif it has around six letters so gl question mark it will try to consider only the a directory with having only three letters so you will not be able to go inside and it will display an error message that you no directory found so let's try cd space gl question mark and you can actually i need to go back to the previous directory because i am already in gl so cd space dot dot no i am in the previous directory and you can see glatif is directory is over here so now try to run the command cd space g l question mark and you can see over here there no such file directory exists because i don't have any directory consisting on three letters and having first two letters gl but if i will write down cd space g l a t i question mark then this command will work because we ignored only the last letter that was f so run the command and now see pwd outcome and you can see over here it is home ec2 dash user space slash glatif so this was another option to use the wildcard based on the question mark uh, let's go back to the previous folders and then try to go inside f folder and for this purpose i will use cd space f star so which folder we will be able to go by using f star because we have several folders or directories 
uh, having starting with uh, name f so let's run that command and you can see the very first occurrence of the directory starting with f will be considered and we will be able to go inside the directory that is right now 10 okay so this is the way how we can go inside the directories by using either star wildcard or question mark wildcard there is another command that is uh, actually if you are working on uh, right now one directory and you change the directory to entirely different location uh, and you did some work there and now you want to go back to your previous working directory so in that case you have to use cd space minus sign and you will be able to go to the previous directory so right now my current working directory is, is home slash is to user slash f10 and let's go into a system directory somewhere else let's suppose uh, yeah, at root directory opt and then i will try to use cd space dash sign that will let me come back to f10 directory again so i will use i will go to opt uh, cd space opt slash that is a directory uh, at the root location i went there so now if i will see the pwd i am in slash opt folder or directory now if i want to go back to my previous working directory i will use cd space dash sign and enter you are moved back to your last working directory so this was another example that is being used to 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 go to the previous uh, working directory then we have two more examples one is if you want to go to the root directory in linux operating system root directory is same as your in windows we used to have my computer and inside my computer we used to have d drive c drive and so on and over here in linux operating system we don't used to have drives we used to start with the root directory and inside root directory we used to have different directories so let's go to uh, root directory that is cd space slash and now we are at the root directory and if we want to go any location regardless of wherever you are you can simply use the absolute path along with cd command uh, to, to the new location wherever you want to go and you don't need to worry that you are at either at home location or root location or any other location you can go to that look, uh, that directory as i already covered this example i was uh, at uh, f10 location and i went to opt uh, directory that was at root so simply you have to use the absolute path let's suppose i want to go to ec2 user folder i will use slash home slash ec2 dash user and you will be able to go to that uh, that folder and it doesn't matter wherever you were previously that's it for today's session and uh, if you like my video please click on the like button and don't forget to share the video thank you